Hi guys, welcome back to the Cypress series. In today's video, we will learn how we can handle drop down uh, with drop down in Cypress. So, drop down can be of two types: one in which we have a select tag, and one in which we do not have a select tag. So, we have this sample website, which is a select drop down demo website by Lambda Test. So, they have a good examples over here. So, first. Example is basically when you want to select a single value from a drop down. So let's say this one. So this drop down values are Sunday, Monday, like days of the week. So let's say you want to select Wednesday. So you can just click on this and then select the text value, right? But in Cypress, it's very easy. You don't have to do, you don't have to click on this and then, you know, select the value from the drop down. There is a inbuilt command by Cypress, which is uh, dot select. So you just have to pass the locator value and then your drop down value would be selected. So we will run the code and we will see how it works, right? So first of all, I will find the locator for this one. So the locator for this is actually, this is a select class. So this uh, over here, I can see the ID is select demo. So first of all, we will do cy dot cy dot get and my locator so the locator is basically it's an id and then the id value and then because it's a drop down and it it's a select tag so we will use dot select and just the value of the drop down which you want to select so for example i want to select wednesday so i will just copy wednesday and then enter the value over here so that's it you don't have to perform any click and then type or select like that. So in Cypress, it's quite easy. You just have to use the select tag and pass the locator, right? So I will just copy the URL also so that we can run our test case and see how it is uh, actually working, right? So I'll just copy the URL and let's run our test case. So I'll open the terminal and run the command and pick Cypress open. So let's select the browser and our test case. So this is dropdown.cy.js. And over here we can see. So on the right side, you can see Wednesday got selected. And on the left side also, you can see it is uh, the test case got passed. It actually selected our value, whatever we passed. Fine. So uh, over here, when you pass select tag, you can actually use it in three ways. So first of all, you can pass the text value. Other one is if I go back to the website and the other one is if I want to pass this value attribute. So this is my value and if I want to pass this value. So over here we can see the value and the text is same but in some cases text can be different. Te text and value can be different. So in select in Cypress if you want to pass you can pass either of this either the value or the text. So I uh, because these are same. So that's why it will it will uh, work. But and there's one more case. So the third one is you can also pass it the index. So index over here, let's say I want to select Wednesday. So the index would be so first option value is please select. We can see over here. This is disabled, but still this is our index zero. This is a option value, right? So this is my zero and Wednesday would be zero one two three four so wednesday would be my fourth it's not like sunday monday tuesday and wednesday so it's not like that your index starts from say please select so this is my index zero first value and then wednesday is the you no know, at fifth number but the index would be four fine so i'll show you how we can uh, use index also so i'll copy the same code and i will pass Inside select, I will pass my index value, which is four, and I will comment the other one. So let's run our test case and see if it is actually selecting your uh, value or not. Fine. So let's run the test case. So again, we can see it got selected. So by index also, it is it works fine. Right. Next one is let's say you are you are selecting any value from the drop down. So you also have to assert you also have to verify if the value selected is correct or not so in that case we can use assertion so assertion will use over here dot should fine and what we will use so inside this we can see 
this one it has a value as wednesday so i will just copy the value and i'll go to my code so i will use should have dot value so it will take the value attribute the value of this attribute and then i will pass wednesday over here so what it will do first of all it will select your value from the drop down and then it is going to verify if the selected value is actually the correct one or not so this is my expected so wednesday whatever i mentioned over here so this is my expected value so whatever value we select it is actually matching with the expected value or not right so let's run our test case and see this one if the assertion uh, pass or it gets failed right so you see over here it is actually getting passed uh, i'll show you one negative scenario also so we we can be sure like this is uh, this is the correct way and this is how it is working so let me comment this one over here now i'll pass i'll pass thursday over here fine so it is again selected wednesday only from drop down i'm selecting the fourth value which is wednesday but i am passing my expected value as thursday because i want to show you in case if assertion fails what what error we get on the page right so i'll run my test case and we'll see now the assertion will fail so you see it is saying the value it is expected to have thursday but the value was wednesday right so over here we can see our assertion is failing so this way now it should be clear to you how we check the assertion for the drop down right so this is how you select the assertion and how you check if it is showing you the correct value or not so this is one way let's say your wednesday the value is already selected right in that case what you can do because there can be cases where by default there is some value in the drop down so in some of the cases we see when we select a drop down so over here we we have this uh, text please select or select so in some cases we have to verify the selected already present value which is selected as a part of drop down so in that case how we can do assertion because we won't be doing this cy dot get and select there is already some value which is uh, selected in the drop down so in that case what we'll do so first of all we will find uh, we will find the locator for that so over here so the locator is actually this select demo right so for this i i'll check if it is selected or not so select demo and then what i'll do i will check the option which is already selected so option and selected so this will be under single quotes and then i can check my i can perform the assertion over here and then i can check maybe dot should have dot text so have dot text and the text i i'll pass as wednesday i'll explain you if you if you are not clear with this i'll explain you once again what we are doing okay let me open it in a full mode so first of all so first case is this is my first case where we are selecting the value from the drop down and then we are asserting the selected value is correct or not right so there is one more way let's say by default there is some value which is already selected in the drop down so in that case we don't we will not select a value in that case we will pass our css in such a way so first of all we'll pass the locator of that drop down and then will say the option which is selected so when you when the option when the value is already selected in the drop down so we pass it like this option as selected and then you can perform your assertion you can either check have dot value or you can check have dot text fine so let me rerun the test case and we'll see so we saw second time also it is getting passed so we'll do one more case we i will just copy this one and paste over here and let me just comment this one so in this case i'm not asserting i'm selecting the value and next what i'm doing i'm checking the selected value is actually correct or not right so let's see so now we can see the expected value is actually matching with wednesday whatever we uh, value are getting on the page so expected is actually uh, is correct over here fine so this is a case where we have select value 
so we will see one more case where we have multi multiple uh, values where we can select right so in this demo website so this is my second case where we can select multiple values at the same time right so you will also maybe you will also face such kind of scenarios in your application or uh, in the practice page whichever you are trying so we should know how to handle these kind of scenarios as well right so let's say if i want to select california uh, and texas and washington together so all the three values so how we will do this so in cypress when we use select tag we can pass array also so in array we will pass three values right so let me write the code for this so first of all we will find the locator for this one so the locator is this is again a select tag so i will just copy the id so the id is multi select let me go back to the code so in order to avoid this one i will write create one more test case so i'll write over here multi select drop down fine and inside this we will write our test case so again cy dot get and it is an id so i'll pass hash over here right so this is my id value multi select so the next thing is i will use dot select and inside this i will pass square brackets because we are trying to pass multiple values so we will pass it as list so let's copy the value over here so let me pass california and i'll pass three values over here california and i i'll pass texas and the third one is washington so i will just copy the value from here directly and we will run so i'll copy cy dot visit as well you can write cy dot visit in the before each also but uh, let's let's see this way what actually it is performing so it will open my uh, open my website and then it will select multiple values so we have passed the locator for the drop down and then using select tag we are actually passing multiple values at the same time so let's run our test case and see so let me rerun it okay so the second test case also got passed you can see and on the left on the right side you can see california texas and washington all the three values got selected so that means we can actually handle multiple select value also and select single select also so you can handle both uh, type of selects drop downs in cypress right so this was a case when we have the select tag available because on this website we can see we have a select tag and inside that we have options right but there there are cases where we do not have select tags so that is called smart search in case of smart search so i will open a website which is uh, amazon.com so let me open amazon Yes. So over here, if I search iPhone, right? So I can see this is the it is showing multiple values. So this is a smart search. In case if you have to select any of these, you cannot click on this directly, right? So what we will do in this case? So let's check for this scenario as well. First of all, I will just copy the URL. Let me go back to the code and I'll I'll write a new test case for this one. So this is. drop down without select tag fine and inside this i will write cy dot visit so this is my website url so yes so now what we'll do first of all we will find the locator for the search box so like this one so this is my uh, this is my locator right so inside this we can see all these values so these these are all div classes there is no option and there is no select tag over there right so in this case where we do not have select tag what we will do first of all we will find the locator for the search box so we will find a locator for this one so i can see the id over here is two tab search box so i'll just go back enter cy dot get and pass your locator value so this is an id i will pass hash right and once you pass this it will inside that let's say i want to what is our next step 
So first of all, we click on this, then we enter our text. So over here we are entering iPhone. So I'll, I'll just use the same scenario. So for entering any text in Cypress, we use type command. So dot type and I will pass iPhone, right? So it will actually simulate the case. In, in this case, it will search for this locator and it will type your value, right? So the next thing is we want to select, let's say we want to select iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro Max case, this one, right? But this is not select tag. So what we will do? We will use an approach over here for using find. So in last one of the previous videos, we saw how we can uh, use different Cypress DOM command. So one of the DOM command is dot find. So like this, my, this is my main search box, right? Inside this, I have multiple divs. So if I want to select over there, these are my divs. Let me open it. Yeah. Yeah, these are the multiple divs and this is inside this div class. So div class is basically this value. So first of all, I will select my div class and inside this, I will select div, right? So let me go back over here. So next thing is cy.get. I will use dot because we have selected the class. And inside this, I am trying to find div tag. So I will use dot find command and this greater than sign div. Inside that div, what I want, I want to select some specific value. Let's say I want to select uh, 13 Pro or 14 Pro Max. Let's take the example for 14 Pro Max. So this is my example. And this is my last div tag. Inside this, I can find the text. So this is my text over here, right? So for finding a text, what we do in Cypress, we use dot contains command. So I will use dot contains and then pass your text. Okay, so over here, what we did, we first of all selected, we uh, actually check the whole drop down, that whole box locator. Then in that, we are trying to find the div tags and we are trying to find a specific div tag which has this text, right? And then we, are, we have to click on that. So in this case, earlier we saw we, we are not performing any click over here. We are just using the select tag, select command. But over here, we are performing click. But the strategy is, first of all, we are finding the main locator. And inside that, we are traversing to, the, to our desired value, right? So let's uh, run this test case and then see if it is actually clicking or not on the iPhone 14 Pro Max case. Fine. So now we can see it is getting executed. It is searching for iPhone and then, yeah, we can see it got clicked. So this is how you handle a drop down in Cypress where you do not have the select tag and uh, we, we can handle both select and without select. And we can also handle single value and multiple values. So I hope uh, this is clear and you can, if you like the concept, if you like the video, you can just share it with your friends also and uh, in the community so that others can also learn from it. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.